the Supreme Court has made it more challenging for the Environmental Protection Agency to regulate greenhouse gases and fight climate change, as justices ruled Thursday in favor of Republican-led states and coal companies that asked the court to limit how much the EPA can control emissions from POW. President Joe Biden has set a goal of the energy sector running entirely on clean energy by 2035, but the court's ruling means that goal will be substantially harder to achieve. Capping carbon dioxide emissions at a level that will force a nationwide transition away from the use of coal to generate. But it is not plausible that Congress gave EPA the authority to adopt on its own such a regulatory scheme. A decision of such magnitude and consequence rests with Congress itself, or an agency acting pursuant to a clear delegation from that representative body. Whatever else this court may know. Yet the court today prevents congressionally authorized agency action to curb power plants' carbon dioxide emissions. The court appoints itself, instead of Congress or the expert agency, the decision-maker on climate policy. I cannot think of many things more frightening. 25%. That's the share of the U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2020 that came from the electricity sector, according to the EPA, making the industry the second biggest source of such emissions. The transportation industry made up the largest share of emissions, at 27%. How far the effects of the ruling will go? While the case and the court's ruling Thursday was focused on the EPA, critics have warned the court's ruling could be used to stymie other federal agencies' abilities to impose regulations and make policies themselves, rather than Congress. Almost everything about these cases is manufactured in an effort to return to an era free from oversight by the government, Senators Sheldon Whitehouse, Dr. I, Richard Blumenthal, Democrat Connecticut, Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, and Bernie Sanders, Ivermat, wrote in a brief to the court. In his concurrence Thursday, Justice Neil Gorsuch suggested the court was broadly wary of letting federal agencies impose too many regulations, writing, when Congress seems slow to solve problems, it may be only natural that those in the executive branch might seek to take matters into their own ha. But the Constitution does not authorize agencies to use pen and phone regulations as substitutes for laws passed by the people's representatives. The Supreme Court previously blocked President Barack Obama's clean power plan in 2016, which similarly imposed regulations on the energy sector, 